Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome to here. My name is Kligian and hope you had an enjoyable summer. And here we are again for the new Let's Play on the channel to start the new working school year. I don't know how you call that. Um, the autumn. Uh, I, it's been a while since I've played any gaming. I've been awake, you know, for the whole month of August. Haven't recorded anything since. Uh, I know that for you guys, the Mass Effect 3 Let's Play is still going on, but as of today, I've, I'm done with Mass Effect. It's been real wide. I've completed my Let's Play in mid-July, something like this. Um, but if you've been following the Mass Effect Let's Play, if you've been following any of the Let's Plays of mine, if you've been following me on the Sign Carry Action channel, if you've been following me on the social media, whatever, you know that I'm a massive sci-fi fan. You know that sci-fi is my thing and sci-fi is definitely what I live for. Uh, you know, given my, my filmmaking uh, studies, I've always loved sci-fi, given nowadays my um, course, let's say, uh, studying physics at the university. I'm into sci-fi. Uh, so I'm really stoked about this one. I'm really happy that I uh, was able to get the game and so this is what we are going to do today. So let's go into the game. Um, Starfield, going into the game, what do I know? Well, nothing. I am in this completely blind. I haven't checked any trailers or whatever. I just know that the game um, isn't, you know, it's not a flight simulator like Star Citizen. It's not... I, I, I just know that sort of things, you know. Uh, so that's what it's going to be. What's happening? Why do I have... <laughs> I'm having double uh, screen. Um, so what am I going to be looking for? Well, anything going on. I haven't played any Bethesda game ever. I haven't played, uh, you know, the Elder Scrolls. I haven't played the Fallout um, game series as well. So I am going in completely fresh. I'm going to take it as it comes. Bear with me because I may be a bit rusty, you know, as I said, it's been a while since I recorded any video or done any Let's Plays or really play the game. Uh, in fact, I did play uh, some Elden Ring on my own and on the Twitch channel, but it's a completely different exercise. So, settings, gameplay, music is a little bit low to me. Difficulty! Hard. Because, you know, given the experience on God of War, that we are going to be catching up, you know, on God of War, but I can't do it all, so is this going to be now? On God of War, I went for the hardest of the difficulties. Maybe I shouldn't have, because it is definitely really, really hard. Maybe to the uh, downside of not being able to enjoy the story as much because I'm tryharding a bit. So we're going to stick with hard here. Display. Everything is on ultra high. Shopping VR. Interface. Crosshair. Show damage numbers. I'm going to keep it off for now. Control is not going to touch that. Binding. Let's say we're going to discover that in game. Master. I'm going to bring the music to 60. Because usually music tend to be a bit too loud. Accessibility. Obviously, general subtitles. Dialogue subtitles. Look at iron sights. Large. Use larger font size in menus where possible. Only just support from the main menu. Yeah. That's probably going to be good. Welcome to Starfield. It means the world to us to have you exploring our brand new universe. From all of us at Bethesda Game Studios, thank you so much for playing and all your support. We can't wait to see what you discover. Uh, this photo gallery, that's what it is. Okay, crew. Okay, let's follow the game. I'm really stoked about 
being able to play a game on a channel that's uh, current, you know, because I've been doing a lot of catching up with the Mass Effect series and, and God of War. So I'm really, really excited about being able to share this experience here with you live as you experience it yourself on your end as well. New. Seven twenty-three thirty. Argus extractors mining outpost. Moon of Vectora. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. <laughs> exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Building up a lot of anxiety. Sounds. Music. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Uh, uh, the graphics that. are really Remember that. awesome. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Reeds of red tape. Ugh. You will this one over here. Calvin! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid to a break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up. A tough boss lady. Good. What's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big thing we looked at? Yes, ma'am! Am I supposed to talk to her now? Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in my cabin. Dusty. I'll shout out when I need you. What are you waiting for? Look, we'll be done after this one. Just do your job, okay? Okay, so she's just saying this stuff. 
type of stuff. How do I grab my stuff? Okay, yeah. Great cutter. Maybe not to kill uh, someone. You think we'll be done here soon? Oh, I hear this is the last day. I'm busy. Ah. Is there anyone else to bother? I really am the puzzle. So I don't exactly how is this is going to render, you know, on YouTube, but I'm already thinking that maybe I'll be cautious about moving the camera so you guys don't feel dizzy. Get back up here. Cause I yeah, a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Okay. Come on, it's time. You're with me. Cause I do get it, especially with space. Uh, Games. You might feel a bit dizzy when the camera just moves around and you're not in controls. So I'll try to think about that. For a comfort. Let's go. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. Uh, you don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, uh, now you're starting to freak me out. After. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. How much you bet won't be just another job? <laughs> we're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh. <laughs> the hell you will. Turn on the flashlight. Use the cutter to break up the mineral deposits. I don't like the music. The music says something's up. I'm just saying. Symbols on it. Oh no! <laughs> Mass Effect PTSD is starting all over again. <laughs> it's like a protein vision, but you know, top modern graphics. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. Huh. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh, great. <laughs> ha! Customization. I reckon it's gonna be a customization episode, because I... If you've seen my... Most like let's play then you know that I spend quite a ton of time customizing should I do 
How does it work? Okay, there's the body, there's the face, the background. But you just see basically what's available to us. Alien DNA. You volunteered for a controversial experiment to combine alien and human DNA as a result of your Okay, traits, and you get to choose three traits. You get a background. Oh, a ton of choices. Oh, it's gonna be really interesting. Ah. So, shh. I am tempted to try and do someone that may resemble me. But like, what I'd be looking like had I been born in 2300. Not biometric customizations can be changed later by visiting a genetics facility. Okay, so this is not final. Nine is like a strong basis. Twenty-five, not so bad. I love the diversity. The diversity of looks of appearances day to day. To make available. Big forehead. The hair doesn't help. Okay, so maybe 25 and 9, right? Could be bases. I think 9 might be a better beginning. Uh, shoot. Okay, I can go like this. Heavy, thin, heavy. Are you thin, heavy? Oh, yeah, that's not. We're gonna be at our best. Why would we be at our best? Oh, obviously. Hey, it changes. A new character presents in this card. Current changes. Yep. Oh no, get a basis is still the same. Then you change the 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 sex. Hmm. I suggest the walk style number two is meant to be a bit more feminine and so you can mix you know things. It's great. How do I walk? Maybe I walk a bit more like this. I don't know. Skin tone. Yeah, I'm not the darkest nail, that one's great. Let's be lean. That would be lean. Yeah, quite standard. Not really creative. Skin tone. Skin tone. Is this more like me? 
feels like this is a bit too dark. Head shape. Okay, that is... I am interested in... So I'm on the thinner side. A bit more round. Although I have to say, at the moment, the forehead is a bit big. Why are they making me a big forehead? Oh, what the hell? What is that cross? You can't be round and thin a bit. It's weird. Not sure I like it. Maybe the, the hair. I've got to change something. By the way, I did change haircut. But uh, let's see. I want to go for a new haircut in this as well. Lots of haircuts. How does it feel like I'm... Okay, cool. I was really close to... Yeah, it's a big forehead, isn't it? We need a hair to help with this. I don't know. This is interesting. Quite difficult with the uh, spacesuit, I reckon. I'm interested in... I'm interested in this one. I'm interested in this one as well. This one is pretty nice as well. Where's the other one? Did pass it too fast. Hmm. -hmm. This one is really great, I have to say. Hair color! Oh, let's do something interesting. Oh, the blue, white and blue is quite enjoyable. In Mass Effect, I always went with the white hair. I don't know why, but I love the white hair. But here, the shaved white is a bit strange to me. Like the orange. Pinkish, I like it. But the blue's got something, you know, it's white and blue. Facial hair. So we're at 11. Facial hair can, can do an undo a face. I don't dislike this. This is neat, really. This is. It's not exactly the thing I have with the mustache and. Okay, so 11 is a strong one. Okay, maybe that's the closest, maybe, but a bit too long in my opinion.
This one is interesting. Oh, well, that's 11. <laughs> 11, 14, 11, 14. 11, 14 are the interesting ones. I think this is, yeah, I think this one is more interesting. This one is more interesting. Let's get back to the hair color though, because the, this one is quite interesting. Let's say I were to dye my hair, one of these colors, what, which one would I rather see in the mirror? This one. This one. Not the white, not the black. I have the feeling that were I to see the blue and white, I'd be wondering, Dan, I wonder what it would have been to have the orange ones. Whereas, were I to see the orange one in the mirror, I wouldn't necessarily be like, I wonder what it would have been to have the blue and white. Does that make sense? Am I being clear enough? I think it's a nice, yeah, I think it's nice. It's nice. Let me just check on something. Just want to check that my, okay. Just want to check that my, the night light wasn't going to uh, turn on on the monitors. I like the pink. I like the pink as well. I like the pink a lot. That is bold. That less bold. Okay. Let's hesitate between the pink and orange now. Orange, pink. I'm trying not to be uh, Influenced by the white background, even though it's quite difficult. Pink, orange. Yeah, not the blue. I'm done with the blue. Uh, orange, pink. I feel like the pink could weirdly be tuned with any kind of attire. Whereas the orange could almost be a little too bold to be toned with other stuff. Let's go with pink. Oh, yeah, let's maybe. Ah, stand corrected. The blue is quite nice. Hmm. Orange. You know what? I love redheads. Let's be one. Just like the doctor, I wish I were ginger. <laughs> so we're gonna read all of them and, and see which one uh, best suits my uh, 
likes. Beef Hunter from the Ashtar of the Killer to the Terror Morphs that plague the whole of the settled systems, hostile alien life abounds. So there are aliens in this universe. You've learned the skills to track them, bind them, and take them down. Stun skills, fitness, ballistic, gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients and there is almost no limits to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can't prepare. Bouncer, you've worked at line at the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then you learned the most non-lethal confrontations can be solved one of two ways. A strong right hook or a more strongly secured door. Bounty Hunter, whatever there are wanted individuals, there are those who profit from the capture and your quarry knows that in the vastness of space they can run, but they can't hide. Chef, while the unrefined masses carved down chunks by the shipload, you, cut it, you, ca you catered sorry, to those with a more discerning palate. In your kitchen, countless alien species became true culinary masterpieces. And apparently alien species are not... It's not like in Mass Effect, we are not living... You know, diplomatically. Leave it to human beings to fight over something as infinite as outer space. That's where you come in. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, but you'd much rather take care of your friends. Cyber Runner from Neon to New Atlantis to make a core stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profits. You've worked both for and against them on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscience for credits the mega core okay cyberneticists robots mere toys neuro arms good for parlor tricks the colony war may have made implants and upgrades available to veterans but you once saw a greater future. Humans and machines as one. Diplomat, the wars are over. Peace now reigns to settled systems, but only because the elbows quietly fight and keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heeded, lives were spared. Explorer, the set exploration is a lost art you didn't listen. As the major factions argued over the space to desperately try to control, you were busy uncovering the wonders of the settled systems. I like this one. Gangster. You were always disgusted by suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. As soon as you were old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky enough to have it. Homesteader. The discovery of the settled systems, many oxygen-rich planet and moons meant humans could live just about anywhere if they had to know how. You did, and utilized it to great effect. Industrialist. There was a time when all you wanted to be was a titan of industry, maybe a ship designer, a megacorp exec. Thankfully, the skill set never goes out of style in the settled systems. Long hauler. Let us other hot-headed pilots obsess, obsess over laser weapons and maneuver maneuverability. You're a space trucker, pure and simple. Pack the cargo, get there fast, get paid, repeat. Life is simple and good. Pilgrim, wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient. You've been called many names during your travels and learned something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. Uh, I, I, I've stopped reading the sergeant skills because it's too much. Uh, professor, you always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As humankind spread throughout the stars, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. Astrodynamics, advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and, okay. Probably out of a ship craft. Okay, geology. Ronin. Master lesson unbound, you wandered to settled systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary, to others, a hero. And to a select few, a nightmare they could never wake from. 
There's others. Okay. Uh, sculptor. With your knowledge of anatomy and skilled, steady hands, you could have had a luxury of career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and creative works of art to amaze and inspire a soldier. The settled systems is no stranger to warfare, and it's and if there's one thing armed conflicts relies on, it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple, bloody work, and you were great at it. Space scoundrel. Good, bad, who's right is it to say? If there's anything you've learned while tra traipsing through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of grey. Xenobiologist. The settled systems is home to untold alien species, and while none of them have yet proven sentient, th that never deterred you. So you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. Laser surveying fitness. File not found. Although there is no information in file about your past life, clerical of a site, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or was it just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is the here and now and the path you're about to forge. Partitioning as more people journey into space, a number of those certified to effectively pilot various type of spacecraft has increased dramatically. Surveying laser. Hmm. I'll tell you what runs through my mind. I would really enjoy to have some sort of scientific background, but the piloting aspect is very uh, appealing. But I don't want just to be a, you know, diplomat, persuasion, common swellness, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit afraid. Explorer is great, but for whatever reason, piloting is not one of the start is starting skills. Now, these are starting skills. Does that mean that you will be able to learn more, or are you stuck with these ones that you are going to perfect? I love the space scoundrel as well. How did you become master of the universe is my question. Okay, so we'll come back to the background later. Let's go and see the traits. Alien DNA, you volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but eating and food items aren't as effective. Jim Home, you own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a uh, mortgage with gold bank that has to be paid weekly. Paths you are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions like will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. But performing actions you don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Extrovert, you're a people person exerting yourself. Uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone, can't be combined with introvert. Free Star Collective Settler. You can access the special Free Star Collective dialogue options and better rewards for some missions given by the faction. The crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased, can't be combined with any other faction allegiance trait. Hero was shipped. You've earned it. Turn of an annoying, adoring fan will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Hmm. 
introvert. You really need your alone time exerting yourself she uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions can be quite for actually. Kid stuff, your parents are alive and well and you can't visit them at their home, but you will automatically send two percent of your credits home to them every week. In street right, you grab on a bean streets of Neon, you can gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for some missions of Neon. Crime bounty by all the factions is greatly increased, can't be combined with any other faction of legions. Raised enlightened. Ring up as a member of the enlightened, you gain access to a special chest full of items in the house of the enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest, can't be combined with any other religions. Okay. Enlightened and Sanctum Universum. Hmm. Raised Universal. I suppose this is it. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universum. You get access to a special chest full of items in the Sanctum Universum in New Atlantis, but lose access to the House of the Enlightened chest. Serpent Embrace. You grew up worshipping to get Serpent. Graph Jumping provides temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly, like an addiction can be compared with it. Yeah. Space, your body is become acclimated to space, health and oxygen are increased when in space with decreased when you're on the first on the surface taskmaster. Occasionally you have crew trained in a certain ship system, but the system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below fifty percent, however all crew costs twice as much tire. Therefore, you've, ne you've never acclimated. Okay, basically, it's the opposite. United Colony Natives wanted. You can access special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards for some missions. Okay. Someone put a price on their head and word is spread. Occasionally, our mercenaries will slow up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. And let me take a sip. Look, it's a mug with a face on it. You see it? See it? See it? Yep. <laughs> hmm. So I... Increased health and oxygen, I like it. Healing food items aren't as effective. Um, the mortgage is a big downsize, but I love the customizable house, please. Uh, the one the adoring fan. So the downside is that I don't know what Raised and Light and Raised Universal is. I don't know what's that chest for. Uh, I am tempted to go with the Serpent's Embrace. You get access to spatial dialogue options is quite seducing as well. Here as well, you get access to special. But I feel like this is a bit... The Neon Street Rat sounds like... I don't know why, but I feel like I might get more interesting special dialogue options than the rest. But Seven's Embrace is, is really a, an upside. Grav Jumping provides a temporary boost to health.
RP-wise, I feel like Serpent's Embrace would be quite compatible with the alien DNA uh, role-playing story. But since I don't know how to graph jumping comes to play, I don't know. Sure, I, ha I already have items, health, and oxygen from the alien DNA. That when your health is low, you do extra to match thing is like really a poker uh, play. I don't know. Introvert kid stuff. I'm sorry, I know I'm taking a lot of time, but it's like I'm. It's my life here. So yeah, the explorer surveying humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all the data while on the grounds become an essential skill set. But, mm. In the settled systems, the nuance ability to listen and discuss can often accomplish far more than simply shooting first and asking questions. Space Council, I'm seduced by the idea of the Space Council, but Because you know, being able to pilot whatever lasers, personal laser weapons are in widespread use across, yeah, can greatly increase their effectiveness. Uh, pilot certification, sorry. Considering the popularity of the personal sidearm in the cell system, familiarity with such weapons is often considered essential. Any code can be broken with proper training, would have us allowed to go anywhere. Uh, the bounty hunter is really great though. However, there are one to individuals. Piloting, targeting control systems and boost pack training. Specialized training and innovation in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration of adding in words. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. I'm tempted by the bounty hunter. Because the others are, are, are really interesting, you know, the xenobiologist, the professor, uh, and the explorer are really interesting, but I don't know. I feel like I may have more fun as a bounty hunter. Yeah, I feel like I may have more fun as a bounty hunter. In that case, I don't look mean enough. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the, the other controls here. 
Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see that it was crawling down. I reckon some of you guys might have been like, "You missed the controls." Well, it is corrected. Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna keep it black. The facial hair. We're gonna keep it black. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bit too much. Just let me try that. Yeah, no. Makes us look older than we are. All pink. Yeah, no, the facial hair should remain black. It's on the other side. Okay. Oopsie. Black, black. And the hair color, the hair color. Pink is still tempting. Blue is still tempting. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the red head. The eyes. Ah, okay. E. It's going to be interesting. There's a lot of tuning available. No, narrow, wide, scale up, scale down. Wow, it's so subtle. Let me find a preset first. Let me find a preset and then I'm, I'm going to tune the preset. These look like Tommy Lee Jean. Double, top, double, one, two, three. These look like Tommy Lee Jean too. <laughs> These look like Tommy Lee Jones's eyes. Do it at home. Eleven is nice, but are kind of the same as the first one, aren't they? Just maybe a bit lower. And there's 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 a similarity. Okay. I'm a mean guy. Mm. Yeah, everyone wants interesting. I'll stick to the to the first one actually. Okay. Yeah, it's okay to it's okay to me. I color okay, this is where it gets fun. And this is where it gets fun, because I can play with the hair color and such, you know, if I were to go that way. Or if I were to go... If I were to go that way, that'd be something. Let me try to see now the... It's like a Sith. This is quite a nice combination. I'd say. Of 
obviously the blue eyes is always a winner. I like the, the number one eyebrows. Uh, well, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Six, yeah. Even though four brings a bit more depth. Yeah, four brings a bit more depth. Uh, and apparently you can adjust it so it matches. But you can change it. But I think I'm gonna. Ah! Here it is, you can change the forehead. Because I think my forehead's a bit massive. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't do much, even though 11 may be better. Uh, let's stay with one. One is fine, I think, for the nose as well. Small nose. Three could be something. What well, one is a bit too much, one is a bit too much, one is yeah. Eleven, th three is a bit too short. Three is a bit too short. Let me see. No step. Yeah, up a bit, maybe. Rich. And the nostrils. Yeah, I think it's a good nose. Nostrils maybe a bit. Doesn't shock me. I like it. I, 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 I like it. Yes. Hmm.
Then again, I don't see much difference. Could be better if I fifth. Mooth. Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, I'm no longer really doing a character that uh, we share features, but it's not exactly going to be a copy of myself, but I still, you know, I have quite a thin lip, a, th a thin upper lip. That could be it, a bit more. But I'm not sure, I think it makes for a, for a forward lip. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, there's the jaw thing. We'll see later for the mouth. Hmm. Not that big of a difference, and I'm not really going to toy with it. Oh, let's see with the teeth. I have really weird teeth. Oh, no, but I... I do have clean teeth. Yes, please. Chin, how's my chin? Mm. Yeah, first one is nice. The neck. First one is nice. Jewelry, that's interesting. So right now, you know, I have like this little stone here and I, live, and I have a hoop on the other side. So either I go for this here or two hoops. And I think, shoot, change the eyebrows. I think I, I'll go for, I think I'll go for these ones. And I've grown quite fond of the pink hair. But the mouth isn't good one. We'll get back to the first one there. The first one better. So jewelry, jewelry collar. It's gonna stay white. It's gonna stay white. Dermesthetic. Yeah. Much really to do, in my opinion. I just remember what the basic setting was. Maybe it was. This is more like me, isn't it? I feel like this is more like me. Because I'm not black black, but I'm not pale. It's a bit paler than myself. Yeah, this is a bit... Might be more, more like it. Place it call a temp. Oh, 
Oh, you can have uh, Vitiligo. Gonna, I'm gonna keep the color temp, uh, the complexion temp, uh, safe for now. Color blemishes and just a scar. Every good character needs to have a scar. Oh, it's on the mouth. Has to be a beautiful scar. Bit, bit, bit much maybe. I don't think that's too much. I think that's quite all right. Let me just check for the the eye colors. Yeah, no, orange a bit too much. Blue is a winner. Special forms. Yeah, nothing special. So twenty five. Let me just see. Maybe that was something that I missed earlier. This is quite classic. This is quite classic. Uninteresting. Sorry if you picked it. <laughs> uh, dang. Okay. There's a rattling sound in the background whenever I change uh, the settings quite bothersome to me. You hear it? That's quite bothersome. Yeah, I think the 25th one is the most elegant. Tattoos! Oh, I'm interested in this. See, that, it's, it's great, but I want to be able to feel like there's a story behind the tattoo and it's not just an aesthetic thing. Oopsie. Because yeah, it could be as could be just a settle. That's you. This I like. This I like. In the middle. And then here. And here. I like better than the, than the big circuit thing. I like that. I like that here. Cheeks. No. Cheeks. No. Lipsticks. No. Lipsticks. Ah. Eyeshadow upper. No. Okay. Eyeshadow lower. 
Do we have a... Okay, liner. Better. Uh, but I don't like the color. I wish it could be black. I wish that here it could be black. That... Okay, if I want dirt on my face. I wish that the liner could have been black. I am fabulous! Don't you think I'm fabulous? Oh, I love that design. What if I were... Mm hmm I quite like some liner underneath as well. I am a maverick. It's twenty three thirty. Shoot. I enjoy that one. Okay, let's just see with the, the hair colour. Why can't I change the... the liner colour? Is it going to change with the... the eyebrows? No, it's not. Weird that eyeliner thing. How come you don't have a a oh color? Never mind. Ah, oh, it's hidden. The color parameter is hidden. Should I use so my eyes pop? Shoot. Would I go for this one or yeah, just this one I think. The tattoos may a bit be a bit too much. It's ten. We'll see without the tattoos. Or maybe with the tattoos, but without the scars. Let's try that scars it was twenty-fifth. Without the scars, with the tattoos, and um, let me just see, just plain old black. If there is, I think like. I think like the black underneath, if the subtle blue on, on the top is... I think I like it, because I think maybe a bit too color, it's a bit too much. Let's see if I do the opposite. The blue here. And the, the black on top. Yeah, I think the 
the color under underneath is a bit too much. I mean, the black is. Let's try again with the. Oops. Hmm. Bit too bright, this one. This one may be a bit better. Yeah, this one better. Because this one is a bit distracting. It's like I have two sets of eyes. Could be weird. This one's a bit subtler, but it's present. Like you feel it, but it's not BAM in your eyes. Did you feel it? And there's the intensity as well. Let's max the intensity here as well. Yeah, let's max it. Okay. Uh, I'm still uncertain about their hair color. But I'm confident in the rest. Facial hair no, not fish hair, hair color. Yeah, weirdly enough, I've, uh, I've, I've grown used to the pink one. No, hair color. I've grown used to the pink. It's missing a tad bit of color doesn't it there's a color for the tattoos as well I could just go mm. Bit too much. Cause, 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 I, cause I kinda still wants to, wants to see the, the tattoos in game, but I feel like the black one would be the more believable. Let's say I keep these ones and I like let me change the shape. Hmm. I feel like this one on the lines, well, upper lines, my eyes a bit better than... Uh, this one might be better. Density, please. Let's check the color for this one. I, f I, f I feel like... I would love to have some color on my face, but I feel like the black one is none that is the one that looks the best. 
Because it makes my eyes look like I have really long eyelashes. So we're going to go with this one. Let me check the facial hair. Facial hair. So it was 14. It's way different without, uh, without uh, facial hair. Oh, I love the facial hair on this one. Yeah, pink facial hair. It's different than shoot. It's this one. The eye eye color. Ah, so white, black in the middle, and here it's blue and black in the middle. Yeah, not the blue one, it's better. Eye color, blue one's better. White's a bit too aggressive. I think I have everything, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to check with the jaw. I feel like the jaw is a bit... No, not the jaw. I feel like the jaw, not the jaw. The chin could benefit from being narrower. Yep. Because I found it a bit... Uh, too wide. <laughs> I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's it. It's going to be a bounty hunter because I love the starting skills that come with it. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get some other skills and the traits. So, alien DNA, dream home because I love customization and I love to have a customizable house. But then we need to find a faction. I feel like it's the thing. And maybe the Neon Street Rats. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You can access special dialogue options and better rewards. Some missions of Neon crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. I don't know if I should choose RP traits or if I should use traits that are, that are going to help me in the game to perform better. Like boost health and oxygen. But see, I already picked alien DNA that boosts my health and stuff. But a neon street rat. It's appealing to me. You know what? And then again, just like for being here. If I pick anything other than neon street rat, I'm going to be wondering what it's like to have picked a neon street rat. So let's just pick the neon street rat. Finish. Uh, name him. Hmm. It's going to be called Killian.
Yeah. Yeah. Kill Ian. Oh, Killian. Sind die Zeilen, okay? Killian. No, you know, Killian. Killian. Because it could be called then Key or Lian. But if I name it Key Lian, Ilian, Key Ian, but Ian is rather normal. Ilian, Ilian is a name as well, but a bit less basic than Ian. Sorry if you're an Ian. <laughs> Could do something like Killian. Hmm, that's an interesting one, Killian. What are the other pronouns? She, her, they, them. Okay. And now. Killian, what did I write? Or oh, Killian, did I write Killian? Did I write it this way? No, I don't feel like it. I feel like I wrote it that way. Killian. No. Ah, the way I wrote it last time was so nice. I feel like I wrote it that way. I feel like I wrote it that way. Killian. Killian. When you pronounce Killian, it feels like there's already a separation between the kill and the Ian Killian. So I'm gonna write it that way. That's gonna be his name. Confirmed. That you were expecting a quiet job compared to your last gig. Bounty hunter turned space miner. Huh. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Oh, cool. There was a line of music. It was incredible. Like a dream or a vision. Everything's a plaque to I went to that tunnel. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. First and third person. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I did quite a constellation contact a fantastic is look. on approach. Wait, the explorers group? Who? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Hmm. 
Same with constellation. Uh, yeah. Come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. So crew. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Okay, so the data I'm in a vector out. Argos extract is mining out. Post, sorry, the camera isn't from. I'm gonna be. Ha I'm gonna have to move the camera quite a lot. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to put it down. You know, like down under there. Uh, piloting certification zero percent skill points. Cutter mass twenty five. Killian level one health. One small step. Equip a helmet. Okay, mission, inventory, skills, star map. I don't know what the other one is. Uh, oh, cool, there's a log. Whatever I found in the mine knocked me out. Cool, now we have paid for this whole operation. is making a landing and we need to meet him. Tugger, which voice is tracked on your heard? Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Okay, select the name of the quest to expand the list. I can go to the quest right now. Quest, you can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your. Okay. So, one small step, set course. Show on map. Client is here. Let's go. Okay. But how do I? No. Ah. Back to a rock. Ninety-one deep freeze. Thin O two week. Yeah, it's not a planet, it's a moon. Oh, it's like the space time fabric. I oh, know it's like the land. Oh, yeah, no, it's the land. Uh, it's the landscape. So, this is not where I meant to go. Inventory. Suit helmet. That's it. Okay, it's a. You sort of land on it uh, by accident. It is one small step for mankind. How come you don't have the... Oh, sorry, my The screen is... The screen is cropped. My apologies. Alright, apologies. It's dealt with. I told you I was a bit rusty. Been a while since I filmed anything. Am I gonna be able to pilot one of these ships? Oops. Contract. 
Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. Mm -hmm. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship oh. coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Oh shoot. Where? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I'm missing it. Oh, here they are. What are the pirates? Grab a weapon. Where? Where? Where do I grab a weapon? Is this a weapon? No. This a weapon. One, two, three. Transfer what? Transfer. Transfer, transfer, the yes, I don't know. Transfer, trans transfer, I'll take. Okay, I don't know. I did something I wasn't supposed to, I think. Okay, all to aim. Press, okay. Pretty nice. Ha, ah, no clips! Why do I have no clips? Is that the thing? Take. Yeah. Okay, the pirates. Okay, back into action. How do I duck? How do I duck? How do I duck? Can I duck? I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where are the bad guys? Uh, that aiming stuff is in... How oh, come I cannot? My health, my health. Die. Okay, okay. S slowly getting it. Pirates, but I only have not 11 of all left. Oh, it's done. Okay, Dr. Parrot. And what's that? This dude hiding. Of course, Barrett was being followed every time. Mm, Barrett, well, that was some fine work on the pressure. 
You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. He's way too chill about it. He's way too... You're coming with me now. If you can tell me what this artifact feels is, I'm in. If you take me up this dam and sign me up. Oh, wait, I didn't ask for any of this. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. <laughs> hey, um, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Oh, okay. I feel like I want to ask, but... Uh, my job, I'm not worried, you know, the guy is gonna cover for everything. But, 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 and I don't want to be mining. To be honest. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. <laughs> very well. Oh, and hey, I'm take Vasco this. Gamma. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, Galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Yeah, can tell now. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. But how did you become aware of this? Come on. Artifact. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't know, I mean, I touched all been it. Handling <laughs> sense with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Okay. Okay. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco Consider will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay. And Vasco, then. don't let him break my ship. We're still in one piece. Oh God, I'm gonna throw up. Bye, Hella. Hella, something to say. Something to say. Someone. You going? Uh, something. Go. Make the delivery with Constellation. This is all one big write-off now. Get that artifact to Constellation. Okay. Okay. 
and I think okay I so I took it and okay and I used it so there's take and there's transfer transfer transfers it to your uh, yeah this to the inventory ah B is to duck okay duck anything to jump ah okay jump duck that's the running that's the aiming that will be to scan later I reckon frontier it's not the name of the ship oopsie surface map anyways it appears you are the new captain of the frontier just up the ramp captain I'll be in the external robotics bay oh where is it I'm gonna be piloting this ship Uh, let me just lower the music because the music is... Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I, I absolutely do. I will the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Okay, so let me just... Ah, uh, the, the, the menu is... No. How do I freaking get to the menu? A new, no. A new, yes. Settings, we're gonna lower the music. Because as I predicted, the music is taking up over the dialogue a bit. Beautiful music, but a bit too present. Let's do... How do I put that away? Anyways... Okay... Jump seat... Impact driver... Ah! It doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Let's take stuff. I don't know if it's if it makes me. Oh yeah, mass one thirty. Yeah, it definitely makes me heavier. I uh, probably should inventory new items. Very drop inspect. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Have cereals that I can't eat, so I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop the plate. Max Artifact Eater Hmm Oh, okay, I just drop things Ah No, no, no using it. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm not waiting. Can I take my helmet off? How does it work? Why doesn't it work?
helmet. Okay. Okay. No. It's gonna take a while before I get used to navigating uh, the menu did you pick so let's close that not sure what it is navigation console good to know The research app lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. This research project requires materials in order to make progress. Materials needed can range from raw materials extracted from plants to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at industrial bench work. Some vacuum tape. We've seen make paper planes <laughs> in 2330. All Earth Ball. Broken. A mad back. Here's the cockpit. Here's the cockpit. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to be doing next time. We're going to be flying. I'm going to end the episode here because I think it's a good uh, end of introduction to Starfield. Um, Quite interesting, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the new mechanics. Not only, you know, as I said, it's been a while since I did any shooters. Uh, and by a well, while, I mean a month and so, but you know, I'm not, I still do not consider myself as a seasoned gamer. In my mind, I'm still a new gamer. So I'm still getting used to the controls and everything. And you know, it's gonna be all new now coming from Mass Effect to this game to learn all the controls again. Uh, but in my opinion a strong beginning uh, fantastic graphics story starting uh, slowly it's a bit less um, you know in Mass Effect you can kind of move forwards quite easily this game takes a bit of um, skills I feel like because it's not a simulation game, but it's a lot more immersive than Mass Effect. Uh, most probably due to the fact that you know we are, we have the opportunity to play as the, in first person, and there's a lot more parameters. I feel I a lot of parameters to tune, uh, which makes it quite daunting but great as well because it means that you can really take the time and I'm gonna take the time to do with this game um, really gonna take it all as much as possible what makes it a little less daunting than Mass Effect is the fact that it's a new game so I reckon that you guys are as well getting acquainted to all of this as I am so uh, because it's quite always a pressure, you know, when you're coming into a game that people know by heart and uh, 
but yeah, I love my character. I love the way this is going. This is obviously another uh, artifact and visions thing uh, going on. Maybe we're going to draw some uh, parallels, but yeah, that is my introduction to Starfield. I'm going to be seeing you in the next time. Edison, please take care. Have a nice life. See you soon. Bye.